What's up, DigiDestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Rhyme Avatar, and today we're going to be going over how to make proxies in Digimon Trading Card Game. And I will have a small proxy printout for the new BT08 format if you kind of are stuck in delay like I am. So if you want to get some testing in with your friends and stuff like that, it's not that hard. So let's dive into the video and talk about it. So first off, let's dive into it. There's only going to be a couple things you're going to need. One, you don't need any fancy editors. You don't need any fancy in this. This is all straight up budget free. The only thing you're going to be paying for is ink and your paper, which I highly recommend going with cardstock. You kind of want to have a little more beefier behind it instead of having, you know, flimsy printer paper. A little more beef doesn't hurt to have. So let's go to digimon card dev and we'll start from scratch shall we so first off let's let's go with one of the more popular deck that's going to hit the market mastamon we we already know this is going to be a big deck so what we want is probably take as many viable cards as you feel like you're going to need so let's get a play set of everything that we think might see some sort of play and then we'll house it from there. So that's everything from the trial deck I think you're going to need. So next, let's start and jump into, you know, BT8 itself. I don't recommending recommend getting older cards you already have physically in your collection. Just print out the new ones because it'll save you a lot more time and hassle. I mean, even with the diagram I will have, I will only be having the new cards. I won't run back as far as you know older sets so that's what we're grabbing here let's grab the Kari's just because Kari's is still quite useful then we'll get flame hell scythe and that's about all you're gonna need here that's i think what 48 cards and four so what we're gonna do is make this big and full so now we got a play set now what are we gonna do with this we got all these images and stock images so what are we gonna do we're gonna go to import, export. We're gonna hit it, import the image, click download. You wanna download this to a location, probably it's gonna end up just being in your downloads folder or anything like that. So once you do that, once it's downloaded, we're gonna open this, open up a Google Docs, which is gonna be super easy. I mean, this, this is ridiculously easy. If if anybody can do it so what we're gonna do is open up google docs and then we're gonna go with a new blank document then what we're gonna do is take the saved image that we just uploaded we're gonna take a full full scale here so what we're gonna do is what well, we're gonna crop the image we're gonna pull it for roughly four cards in length and only well four cards in width and two cards depth depth so that's kind of the length we want basically a grand total of eight cards you're gonna hit enter here and then we're gonna go into re we're gonna go into image options we're gonna do size and rotations First off, rotate it 90 degrees and then make the width 10. So roughly this will fit in there. You might have to trim down just a little bit by hairs or anything like that, but these cards should be legible and readable. Now what you're going to do is then hit. If the cards kind of falling off the paper, just readjust your image just a tad bit. So make it so that it kind of centers itself a little bit better because you want it to center. So just move it up like a half an inch or something like that and then hit enter here and then go ahead and resubmit the image. And then you're going to do the same exact thing. Crop the image out. You're going to pick the next four in line. So what we're going to do is go for Salomon up. And then we'll go right into Mastamon here. 
and then we'll go right up to here. Don't mind if the image kind of gets a little chopped off. It's kind of hard to see until you get a really good solid zoom in. So you're going to rotate, do 10, and then you're kind of centered again. What you can do there is get back into cropped image and then move just a little bit more so it kind of gets what you need. Now you kind of get some leftover hangout. So what you're going to do is hit enter yet again and then do it again. Just copy, paste, you know, just as long as you can really have access to a Google Docs, I think this should be quite easy for anybody doing that. What I recommend doing after a certain point, save these longer ends for like the end of the document because we'll talk about that shortly once I kind of get a good hand handle of what I want to show you. We'll move on to what happens for these like two squares, what sizing you want to do. We're going to rotate another 90 degrees and then go 10 by 7. So now this has the full height that you need. Now we got pretty much a good set of peroxies, I think. Now you're going to hit enter and then what we're going to do is now bring in. What we're going to do is crop out these four square sec segments, right? They might seem they won't do the normal 10 by what you want. Because again, I don't want to waste my printing ink on double dipping on card images. You still have to follow by the rules of that two by four rule, right? So we're going to rotate. Well, we're going to hit enter. Then we're going to go image options, rotate that. Instead, we're going to go five this time. So now might be a little bit shorter, but what we can do now is add the image again. Now we should without any issues be able to crop image we'll get the other couple two at the bottom so there we go we're gonna move a little bit the only sad part is you might run into issues with the debian art bottoms just because they don't play nicely so we're gonna go five here now we'll bring it down just a tad bit you will have some space and that's kind of going to be rough but hey it's still printing out so i think this is a really easy way of getting some solid peroxies going cards you kind of want to have for testing especially if in your group of friends you're getting kind of tired of bt7 so you now can go into bt8 without spending any excess money you could also do tabletop simulator very easily but i think this is pretty a solid statement just to say like be able to cut these out yes it's time consuming and stuff like that but use some cardstock definitely it's going to cost you a little bit extra but print printing shouldn't cost you too much so guys what did you think of this video let me know down in the comments and i'll catch you in the next one peace